So Ames, we're on our way back to our House of Monarch Project 2 in Doncaster. We've done the garage. Now we've got that upstairs sitting room. You excited? I'm excited. Fast, stop the car. What? Look, look at that on the side of the road. Wait, let's, let's have a look at this. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, okay, hang on, hold on. Fast, this is gonna be perfect for the sitting room. How lucky is that? <laughs> Let's take it. Let's take it. Okay, Holmes. Here's the lucky buffet. Now, heaps of potential. Tell us about your magic. I'm really excited for this room, Fuss. I'm thinking dado rail along here with some mouldings and paint it in a really deep green colour. We're going to put some beautiful shears along here. And also for the sitting area, two beautiful brown chairs and some nice plants. And the buffet, I reckon perfect spot there. We'll sand this up, paint it to match into the colours. Gonna be awesome. It's gonna look great. So Ames, this is working out even easier than I thought. I know, it, like it's so easy. Even you can do it, but. <laughs> well, obviously I can. <laughs> Literally, I've pre-cut all the pine mouldings. Now it's just a matter of measuring them out, gluing them on, then we're onto the fun stuff, the painting. It's gonna be awesome. Loving the gun, Fuss. Oh, these are great. They're easy to use, they're lightweight. And you know what? There's less mess. We get this glued on. Easy. Fits perfect. That really sets it off, doesn't it? I mean, I can see this already without paint. When we paint this, this wall's gonna pop. Fussy, the top coat we're painting over this undercoat is literally my favorite color of all time. It's a beautiful deep green. But the only thing is you have to use a dark undercoat for it. And the reason, all it does is it means we don't end up doing five coats. Some colours are really see-through. So to avoid that, yep, your undercoat's got to be tinted. It means two top coats and it will look outstanding. So now we're undercoating. And why are we doing that? We want a nice, crisp, white top coat. So the undercoat certainly helps that. But for me, on these old units that have this varnish and stain look, I like to use a special undercoat. You can get them, they're water-based and easy to use, but what the special undercoats do is two things. They have special adhesive quality, so your top coats are gonna stick better. And secondly, they have what's called stain block technology. So all this dark stain is not gonna bleed through and your white unit is gonna look sensational. So Ames, this first coat of green is starting to look amazing. I know, and it really shows the value in why we had to use the grey undercoat for these dark tones. Two coats will probably be done. But that paintbrush looks great. Yeah, Ames, this is the latest and greatest from Monarch called Expertech. What I love about them is firstly, it's got a unique X-Tech filament that picks up and releases, would you believe, 25% more paint than any other brush means you get the job done quicker but more importantly for a job like this ultra tapered filament so you get unbelievable control for those lovely edges yeah well job done i'll leave you to clean up as always so we're just applying our last coat of paint to our lucky buffet then we'll let this dry and i can't wait to see this in the room and how it goes with aims of styling Wow, Ames, talk about making an impact in a room. I know, I can't believe the difference. That green has made so much difference to this room. It's Speaking insane. of the green though, you need a big pat on the back there. The idea of the timber slat really punches out that color. You're a star. It does, Buzz, and it was so easy to do. It contrasts with the brown leather so well, and the shears just add softness to the room. And we can't forget the lucky buffet. Now, we have given that an unbelievable lease of life. There's a lesson here. Old things have value. Except you. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> Let's get a drink, I yeah. reckon. Okay. And you know what? This is now a really worthy sitting room. Cheers. <laughs>